Okay, complex partial seizures are different than generalized seizures. Generalized seizures, the electricity in the whole brain lights up at once. In complex partial seizures, it starts in one area of the brain and it can move to another area of the brain. So the EEG is what helps us to make this diagnosis, right? The EEG, we can see the seizure start in one area and then sort of move its way to the other areas of the brain. And now in partial seizures, the big thing to remember is that they, they're focal, they start in one area and move, but there's two different kinds of partial seizures. There's simple or there's complex. Complex partial seizures, there's some impairment of consciousness. So the person is not alert and talking to you during the seizure. I find simple seizures very interesting, simple partial seizures, because it could just be a feeling or a sensation in the arm. It could be just a weakness or just a little subtle jerking in the arm, but yet they can be talking to you while it's happening and know something's funny, but they are clear and conscious. So simple means consciousness not impaired. Complex means that they are, have some impairment. They can look drunk, zoned out, or spacey. And they can, can be completely out of it, so they can, these can be people that are walking around mumbling with lip smacking, weird movements of their hands. It almost looks like they're trying to do something purposeful, but you realize after watching them for a while that they're really not accomplishing anything. So they may be trying to open a container and they just keep trying and trying to open it, and then you realize after a few minutes of this that there's something wrong. And what did you see at the uh, Grand Central Station? Oh, at Grand Central there was this man who was sort of walking around confused for a long period of time uh, with a whole bunch of police officers following him. They must have thought that he was drunk or high or something and it became very quickly obvious that he was fumbling and confused and he was having a prolonged complex partial seizure while he walked. You can still walk, you can still look as if you're having purposeful movements, but you're really out of it. So that's important is to realize that because you're having a complex partial seizure, you might not be on the ground jerking and twitching like we see with generalized tonic-clonic. It could go into that, but it doesn't always. And they can be prolonged. They can go on for a few minutes at a time. So complex partial seizures are ones that start in one area of the brain. They may or may not spread. There is impairment of consciousness. They can look like people who are confused or trying to do something purposeful that really is not purposeful and they're just as disabling as big generalized tonic-clonic seizures.